I tried to break my talk up to first just discuss a little bit what's in the literature currently, which is not a ton, um, but there was a, a systematic review on pediatric patients with PV and ET that came out last year, as well as a number of papers about young adult patients with MPNs. So in the talk, we'll look at a little bit of the summary of information we got from those papers and just look at some differences between the patients. Um, I think the thing that was most striking in the pediatric review was the fact that so many young patients were reported as being triple negative in the literature, meaning they don't have a JAK2, MIPL, or CALR mutation. Um, it's a little bit different than what's seen in adults. And so one of the things the authors of the systematic review appropriately brought up was the question of whether the authors of the individual papers really had children with NPNs, specifically polycythemia vera, which had the lowest rates of JAK2, or if they were misdiagnosed. The papers all reported using WHO criteria, so in theory they should have met those criteria, but it makes you wonder when you see such low rates of JAK2 positivity. So that was one of, I think, the most interesting things in the systematic review. And then the thing that was nice to see was that there were no cases reported of transformation to AML in the pediatric patients, and also the outcomes in the young adult patients were really quite good compared to older patients. So I think that's reassuring both for patients and families of young patients when thinking about MPNs as really more of a chronic disease. I also, in the talk, go over a little bit of our data at Cornell. We have a prospective study enrolling pediatric patients with MPNs. So I just walk through some of the data about the kids that we have enrolled, some of the complications they've experienced, rates of bleeding and clotting. We have seen a number of clots in our patients. It's largely in the JAK2 VF positive pediatric patients, but we do have one patient enrolled who was triple negative for, and had ET and did have a blood clot. Uh, thankfully, in our group, we also do not see any cases of AML. So again, really reassuring to the families because it's really hard to counsel a family for a very rare disease, but at least we can tell them that the data we do know is that we don't worry about AML in young patients. Um, and then I sort of walk through just some of the research we're doing, looking at different treatment options, working with colleagues at other centers, we're looking at interferon use in young patients. I think interferon is something that is being recommended more for young adult patients, and we really don't have a ton of experience with it in pediatrics. So trying to put together a case series of pediatric patients treated with interferon uh, for their MPN, which I think is really important because I think the more data that's out there for pediatric practitioners to read about, the more comfortable they'll start to be using that medication. Um, we also talked about some of the expression profiling we did and some protein dysregulation. One thing that I find really interesting is we saw some upregulation of immune pathways, inflammatory pathways, and some proteins that may give some insight into inflammation and thrombosis in these patients. So things we're trying to study more, which is really interesting. And then I sort of bring up a few of the questions that I have as a pediatric practitioner for young patients to challenges that they face, including things like lack of experience in pediatric providers, the challenges of living with a really rare disease, and issues like insurance coverage and fertility challenges that maybe aren't the same type of issue for older patients, and some questions that I think we still really don't know the answers to. So it's sort of a broad overview of the field. Um, as Unfortunately, as in many things in pediatrics, the MPN field is, is fairly far behind in peds compared to adult medicine. So we have a lot of work to do and a lot of questions to answer.